The multi-tiered system of supports is a service delivery model within CSPD schools. It is designed to ensure that the right supports are provided to the right students at the right time. There are six key elements of the MTSS. In this video, we'll be focusing on database problem solving and decision making. So the role of the student care teams is to create the time uh, for a group of school staff, sometimes some external staff from CSPD to come together to really problem solve uh, some issues around some complex students in our school. In the student care team meeting, we focus on four specific areas. We focus on learning, attendance, well-being, and behavior. And the decisions we make in regard to the supports we put in place are driven by the data we've collected in those four areas. We follow a process where the student's being brought forward to pbs for all team meetings based on their minor and major behaviour recordings, also their classroom reminders based on our behaviour management flow chart, and those, those are recorded in a monthly period. So then our students that are tracking the highest in behavioural concerns get brought forward for the Tier 1 pbs for all team to put in some supports and they look at current strategies and future strategies to support the student at a tier one classroom level. When these strategies are not effective or they require more, the classroom teachers require more support, we move forward to the student care team meeting and that's where the child's been brought forward already. We bring them forward again and we're able to put in some tier two strategies that will support that student in that area. Yeah, so referrals occur on a needs basis and there's a really strong emphasis on getting to know our students. Um, so we use data to support this, um, but then just also being aware of what's going on in our students' life, that collaboration with parents, and then we seek out the biggest need, whichever domain that's in, and then we bring that student forward to get some support in that area. Data is hugely important to us because it allows us to get context in terms of both trends within our students, but also trends within the teachers that we have within the school as well. Um, so we're able to take that data, look at potential students that are coming up commonly um, in terms of uh, non-compliance. We might be finding that there's students who are continuing to be non-compliant. So within our learning spaces, our breakout rooms allow for those master classes to take place. So we can pull a small group of students in to really explicitly go through some content with them. With the check-in, check-out data, we have in our staff study a data wall and every week with the check-in and check-out, that data is collected. It's put onto a spreadsheet that we use and we can monitor how students are progressing according to their scores for that week and that wall is updated. 